接下来，让我们有请。Wow, what a beautiful room! I'm building castles in the air, better than my own. Ah, the floors were the glitter and gold. Ah, the moon is on the wall. Oh, every day people come and go. Yo, I can't help myself. Ah, it's just. An exhale. I might have even said that before. Every time I hear him, I just. Memories that grow, ripples on the road. Yeah, so delicious, and I can't lie. As much as I enjoy watching all of the videos I watch, and they're so interesting and uh, it's interesting to me because I don't speak these languages. So I get to observe things from a completely different perspective. But I will say, because I know and love JJ, it is cool to hear him sing in English, in my language. Because I get to connect in a different way than I typically do when I'm not able to to connect lyric with audio, and this is no different than any other performance I've seen. It's just so lovely. And for what it's worth, his English is really authentic. It's quite accurate. Shizhenzhao 为了宿命，是否才能走在执着在永久，抵不掉不休？恋人总会收到，牵手到，放手到，回首就该走。黑夜的城堡，我守口的伤口随风成就。别离我，重回了路，尘埃飘流，等待花季烟雨中。才化成水煮熟，属于你的烟雨中。能爱多久，想多久，是多久，是永久，爱过就不朽。那我不走，不分手，不放手，不回首，是这紧扣。分尘土苦，伤口难以可求。渺小微雾下，只得一个泪。I'm sorry, I should be saying more things, but I have to admit I'm just enjoying it. Uh, I will I will start uh, uh, reacting to some specific things that he's doing. I'm sorry. It's just it's just really lovely. <laughs> 在花江水煮熟，只为重逢的
时候。<笑> One thing I'll say with him, his vibrato is so tasty. Um, at the beginning of this song. <clears throat> I know that I've commented on his vibrato quite a bit, but in this song, it felt, I don't know, maybe even a titch faster than usual. <sighs> I don't even know if it matters. I don't even know if I'm saying things that are worth saying. It's just so nice. <sighs> okay, these notes he's singing here, as this song kind of is concluding, or I don't know if it's going to join into another song or, or if they're just drawing the ending out, but this is either improv or something akin to improv where a singer is kind of choosing notes that sound, I mean, it could sound conclusive. It could on purposely sound uh, dissonant, like it needs to resolve or go somewhere. But I think these moments are very telling when you're hearing the choices a singer is making. And I won't say it how advanced their ear is, uh, but you can tell how complex or thick or dissonant or, you know, or sometimes it can sound more jazz or more R&B where, where they'll do, they'll keep the notes with a little bit more rub. He's kind of sounding almost like an instrument. He's kind of choosing to almost flow, float like an instrument. My guess, based on the notes he's choosing, is we're going somewhere. It's not resolving. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. Can I remind you that I have a crush on him? However, <clears throat> I don't understand why half of him looks like he's dressed like a homeless person, but I still love it. I just love I love everything. I just love it. Twenty. <laughs> 好聽嗎?今年是我出道20年了。我覺得20年也算是給自己的一個音樂領域的畢業的感覺了。我覺得人生中 <笑> I think it's really neat that I feel like the style like wardrobe is is very different one could argue between east and west but i think that it's neat to see this and realize that artists <clears throat> no matter where you go artists are still the people creating trends creating looks creating vibes creating something artistic for people to aspire to i love that he is an artist who's always not pushing boundaries necessarily with his wardrobe, but he's always making a statement. I, I love that. Nan 接下來大合唱的時間到了啊,準備好了嗎?如果我只向你們麥克風遞給你,你們就知道怎麼做了,好不好?接下來送給你們這首青春畢業季的主曲。I really like seeing him interact with the audience and speak so freely and so warmly and down to earth. 一起大合唱。<laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. I always, 
I always comment when singers sing yeah or hey or whoa or baby. Um, so a singer can either sound like they're doing it because they're called to say yeah and, and exhale and breathe that into a song or it was written into the music and they say yeah, yeah. This is, of course, a great example. E even though he's still interacting with the audience, we still believe him when he's singing yeah because of the technical choices he's making. He sounds still emotionally connected. Oh, wow. Everybody knows it. Mm. So juicy. Honesty, there is not a lot of singers, East or West or whatever, that are singing this kind of technical vocal at all right now. Because pop music here in the West, pop music right now is very dance and beats and sort of what I call talky singing. That doesn't mean there's not some great singers. But even our greatest singers, like Beyonce, are doing full-on rap now. So to see a great technical singer like this and a great emotive singer like this wander around an auditorium and sing so freely and so expressively and so accurately is, is something that I hope comes back all over the world. I, I love seeing this kind of art. You know, when you go to see a, a popular singer that's, that dances and it's a big, big, big show with lights and all the things, that's an experience for sure. But as a singer myself and a, and a coach, I can't actually, and, and a fan, and a, simply a fan of music and singer and song and art, I can't help but crave this kind of performance. And it's becoming seldom that we get to see this. I hope it comes back. I hope there's more. I, I hope he continues to set high standards for this kind of performance, for this kind of singer, and for us. Listen to the fans singing this song 
it's well written, it's well sung, so people can repeat it. Hi, boy. Hi. Next, I hear you on Monday. Sounds like Michael Jackson. I think I say it in at least one out of two videos that I see of him. Sounds like Michael Jackson. this um, I just had a session last week where we were speaking about this um, it is a, a beautiful form of agility when a singer can do these little touch-ups or touchdowns because if you think about if I sang eh, eh, note 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 when a singer is skilled this way Instead of thinking, eh, they're able to bounce it using kind of like, the wrong word would be muscle spasm, but in the same way that a singer does vibrato, you kind of can relax the muscle and let it take, take care of the motion instead of placing the notes. So it's more of a passive movement than an active note placement. So instead of, eh, we get, eh, you can actually try that. Try this at home. Choose a note that's easy for you. I'm going to use the one he did, but you'll try this. So really what you can think of is we're really just holding a note out and we're interrupting it. The bounce or like a check mark. But when a singer uses this skill well, you almost don't even notice it. You just notice, you just notice that there's a an interest, a point of interest, even though we're not even moving terribly far away from that original note. Same motion. Da, da, ah, right? This is such a redonkulously accurate performance. Like, I'm waiting to highlight a misstep just so we can be reminded that he's human. But this is really accurate. And it's so neat to watch him interact with fans. I mean, he's speaking. He's speaking within songs and between songs. So it's just so loose sounding, but so accurate. 
That bounce. Isn't it funny to hear a great vocalist be able to be like, hey, hey yo! <laughs> like when you hear how how easy they are able to switch gears between speech and song because song feels as as familiar as speech to a singer like this. I just love his smile, I can't lie. Okay, so that last passage he just sang that felt like, hey, hey, this is something I talk about quite often. When you want your audience to feel a certain emotion from you or, or a certain flavor, if you will. This style, obviously he wanted people to feel, I mean, I, don't, I can't understand the lyrics, but it was something delicate something precious, something uh, could be sad, could be loving, could be tender, you know, whatever, whatever. I think singers forget sometimes, even experienced singers forget that if you want something to sound a certain way, you actually have to physically do with your body, with your voice, things that people recognize along with that emotion. So, he could have, if, if I just sing, say, quietly, la, 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 is completely different feeling than la, 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 la. Why does that feel different? Because when we're sad, we, when we're emotional or when we're really feeling something, we kind of do this sound. Oh. That's a real sound we make in our lives that he, as a vocal technician, is weaving in to the actual song, the singing. So we immediately, even without even understanding why, I believe, this is my theory, we react a certain way, we feel a certain thing. So obviously it sounds beautiful. The texture of his vocals sounds beautiful when he does that. But also I think there is a subconscious reaction to the kind of sound he's making that we recognize in our own selves 
as a sound we have made or we could make or we've heard our kids make or we've heard our friends make. It's very, very wise and very uh, skilled. It's very skilled. <laughs> Same with that, when he says, don't come. When you hear him yell, next time when he finishes this song and you hear him say, hey, yeah, whoa, you'll hear how similar that sound is to when he's actually raising his voice to greet people or to yell or to, to just be his charismatic self. You'll hear how similar those sounds are because he is using his voice the same way. Yes. I cannot imagine what it would be like as an artist to have people know your songs so damn well that they could sing them this accurately without any prompting. I mean, I can't, I just don't know what that would even feel like. It's crazy. <sighs> what a stunning performance. God. Don't stop it. Just such a nuggy. Ah. Do you know what? He actually is one of the in my mind, I don't know if I'm just like in the moment, but he feels to me like one of the best vocalists I know of, East, West, whatever, because you don't hear a lot of this kind of singing. I mean, I said that, I know I said that, but you just don't. Everything is now so much more about production that people don't need to do this anymore. Yeah. They, they, they can just rely on the beat. They can just rely on the, the, the song and the production and the hook and the whatever, but he's like walking around, high-fiving people, moving through like 87 registers with, with like a, a chill, relaxed, high-five look on his face, like peace signing and high-fiving people, but absolutely not missing a beat. Like, I don't know that there's a lot of singers like this now. I genuinely think he is very, very special artist. That's true. Yeah, day by day I'm dancing away the pain The world tosses and turns and I'll wait till I'm all alone Remnants on the walls collecting the dreams from before Dust and ashes fall upon my soul And my castle in the air My fire's turning cold Thank you for
for subscribing to our monthly membership on Billy Billy if you've done that already. Here's what we're gonna do. If you subscribe, you then have the ability to submit a video of you singing to us for me to review. But here's the stuff that you have to remember. Number one, this has to be high quality, okay? This isn't you singing into your cell phone. Nah. This needs to be the same quality or very close to the same quality of the videos that we're already reviewing. So you need to have good camera, good microphone. You can't submit somebody else, it has to be you, okay? Next, we have to at least see your mouth, okay? If you wanna have a Batman mask on or whatever you wanna do, fine. Uh, you can obscure if you want. I mean, I wanna see your pretty face, but it's up to you. If you do send us a video, we get to do what we're gonna do. Just know that I will show it the same respect and love and compassion and critical eye that I cast on every other video. I'm pretty excited. Why Niman, Beijing. You are the most famous of the world. Thank you, you!